Hey y'all, what is up? I come to y'all live and in living color in my wonderful kitchen. Okay, I'm here to talk about power. Episode 6. Now, we are in the midst of the season finale and ooh, Jesus, I'm so sad that it is going. But, there will be a spinoff show. Okay, I'm going to get to that in a little bit. But let's talk about episode 6. All right, I done wrote down some notes. I am here coming to y'all. I'm about to do my makeup, sip my wine, and talk shit to y'all about power. I want you guys to like, com comment, and subscribe below. I want to have conversations about this. I want to have dialogue. That's why I wrote my, wrote my notes. But notes and all, I don't like Tariq's ass. Period. He needs his ass whooped. The only kid on television that we wish he just got his ass whooped. Anyway, let's get into it. Cheers. Let's get into it. I just come from the poet's part. Bright light city life. I gotta make it. This is where it goes down. Just... Let's talk about how the episode even started, okay? How Tariq basically was in on the kidnapping. He was in on it. As if we didn't expect his badass to be in on it. He was in on it. All right. So, boom. They run off to get the money. Okay? But what kills me is the simple fact that they act so surprised when Tasha said she got to connect. What you acting so surprised for? I just feel like all of them are just so damn secretive. So secretive. And I'm starting to think Tasha... Tasha's a lot harder than Ghost and Tommy, okay? Y'all better stop sleeping on mothers. We got to do what we got to do half the time, okay? We got to do what we have to do. So it's no surprise that she she knows the game in and out, okay? I'm sitting here trying to figure out, okay, she's having to work with Lakeisha and try to clean up the money. Okay, that's all well and good. Why the hell is Lakeisha so mad? Okay, let me just give y'all some advice, okay? Stop being friends with people that's low-key jealous of you. I always felt like Lakeisha was always jealous of Tasha since season one. And what's killing me about Lakeisha is she's not built for this life. She never was and she never will be. She need to take her and her son and move to West Bubblefuck because she gonna end up getting killed like Holly. Can we all just agree that that might happen? She might get killed like Holly? She run for this man, and this man is overly emotional and will kill anybody at the drop of a dime, okay? Anybody that talks to their mother like the way Tommy talks to his, okay, sis, you don't need to be with him. My whole thing is this. I really believe in my hearts of hearts, Lakeisha is not strong enough for this. Like I said before, she's not built for this, and she, it's a possibility she might snitch, or it's a possibility she might get killed. Now... It might be highly unlikely because 50 Cent is friends, best friends with Lala Anthony. Lala Anthony can't act. Sorry, baby. But can we just agree on that? She can't really act. But they're finally working together. But Lakeisha's still pissed. So would she throw um, Tasha and Ghost under the bus if she has to to save Tommy, to save the love of her life, supposedly? I believe that she definitely would if it came down to it. You guys could comment below and tell me. But Lakeisha ain't built for this life. She's always been jealous of this life. Something's going to happen surrounding Lakeisha. I just feel it in my spirit, okay? Let's talk about how they came up with the money. First of all, when Tariq was being hit with them damn oranges, I felt like he should have hit him harder or maybe hit him over the head. Okay, why well, the hell was Ghost and Tommy acting all upset because Tariq was getting beat up when you should have been whooping his ass, period. Okay, everybody watching this television show wants to whoop his ass. So he definitely deserved that. He deserved to get beat up some more, especially with setting your parents up. Like you live, you lived a nice lifestyle, went to the best schools, had the best clothes, lived in a goddamn penthouse, and you want to live this gangster lifestyle. For what? As if losing your sister wasn't enough. Enough about Tariq. Let's get into... Tate, Councilman Tate. First of all, when the robbery was being taken place, I do believe the way the way Tate 
ooh, was looking at him. I love me some Lorenz Tate. But the way Tate was looking at him and the way the lady, I forgot her name, comment below and you can correct me. But the way they was looking at Ghost as if he knew that Ghost had set him up. But in a way, Ghost didn't enough, share man. with everybody what he was going to do to help man, Councilman thing, you stop I think he thought of that of his own. Ghost is always 12 steps ahead of everybody. And Ghost doesn't act emotional. Now, we might see he gets emotional like when Angela died during certain times with the do when the daughter died and stuff like that. Like, he gets emotional. But he's not an emotional man. He I'm thinks logically, you, right? never with you emotion. Think you gonna get out here alive, even if you do, he knew you. that Ghost had arranged for him to look like a goddamn superhero, knowing that Tate is just as dirty as Ghost. Okay, they came from the same neighborhood, hooked up with the same people, same drug dealers, doing the same activities. Okay, let's talk about that. So when he made him, first of all, the guy that pulled out the gun, put the gun to the lady's head. Councilman Tate knew him. I think Ghost set that guy up. Okay, because remember at a certain part, Dre had told Ghost in the office of truth, had told him, why should you even trust me? He was like, I don't, you're gonna work with this guy. Okay, so he starts working with this guy. Ghost knew in my hearts of hearts, you guys could comment below, but Ghost knew that Tate knew this guy. That's why he hooked up, he hooked up with him. Okay. But I don't think this guy knew that he would be rob robbing Councilman Tate. So I think Ghost set it up not only to get everybody's jewelry, rob everybody but but buck a naked, okay, but to make Councilman Tate look like the hero. Will it backfire? Yes, because I think this woman here is going to catch up on some things and she's going to realize she's playing a game she ain't even set up for. So I think she's going to catch on to it. Um, okay, let's fast forward. Let's fast forward to the meat and the potatoes of it all. When Ghost sat across from Benny, Ghost did not know at that time that Tommy had killed Benny. Ghost is so smart. Why wouldn't he put two and two together? But at the same time, Ghost didn't know that Proctor was going to, going to snitch in any way. Okay? Normally, Proctor will come up to him and tell him, Oh, the cops um, approached me. The cops cornered me. They're, they're trying to set me up. It has happened before. And he has told Ghost. And Ghost was in on it. This one time, Proctor didn't share it with him. So... Let's just say, I really believe Proctor would have snitched. Um, but in my heart of heart, he would have not snitched on Ghost. Maybe threw somebody else under the bus. Tommy, preferably. Anyway, when Ghost approached Benny, okay, they're at truth right here. When he approached Benny, that's what he knew. He knew what Proctor had told him. He always went off of what Proctor had told him, okay? Proctor really wasn't telling him that Tommy was meeting up with him in any shape, way, or form. Proctor started getting really, really uh, uh, secretive, which I didn't like. I, sm I smelt a rat. I smelt a rat. Now, let's talk about it. Ghost told Benny what Proctor had told him. Ghost had no idea that Tommy had killed Proctor. Okay. Now, I'm like pausing with my makeup because I'm like so into this. So, bear with me, okay? I don't want to look like Krusty the Clown. Bear with me. So... Ghost told Benny what he knew, okay? Benny is smart enough to know, and we're all smart enough to know, because Proctor had filled Benny in on what Ghost was about and what Tommy was about. So Benny knows. So when they met up, okay, to meet up to get that badass Tariq out when he should have just left him and they should have just hit him over the head with arms just to come, come with me, okay? When they went to go pick his bad ass up, Benny knew. It was the way that Benny looked at Tommy, the way that Tommy looked at Benny. Tommy started folding. You could tell in his eyes he was folding like a goddamn beach chair because he felt low-key that Ghost had set him up. He don't know what Ghost had said to Benny, okay? He don't know what Benny had said to and Ghost. And he don't even know if they're going to team up and get him. 
Tommy doesn't Time think off over. of logic. This is why Tommy me. and Ghost are so good at working together, not apart. Because Tom, Ghost thinks with logic, Tommy thinks with emotion. And Tommy's a very dangerous man when it comes to this game because logic is key. Okay? People will be 12 steps ahead of you off of logic and you in the corner off of emotion. That ain't gonna work. You'll find yourself killed. You and Lakeisha will be in, in that damn studio killed. Okay? So... I felt like that was when everybody, that's when all the cards started coming out to the table is when they met up to pick up Tariq and wait. Everybody was looking at each other. Benny knows. And if they think that Benny is not smart or they think that Benny is not going to come back on the scene even later down the line in other episodes, they are sadly mistaken. Benny will get Tommy and that's what I feel. He will get Tommy and Ghost, if not now, maybe in the spinoff or maybe the season finale. I do feel like Benny's gonna come back and, and get them because Benny knows something is not right, okay? And I think he knows that badass Tariq is behind it, rightfully so. Okay, Tariq and Tommy set Proctor up. But let's talk about the simple fact that Ghost now knows. So, in my eyes, you guys can comment below. Are they back to beefing, Tommy and Ghost? Are they back beefing again? I think yes. They are back beefing again. And I think Tommy needs to stop beefing with Ghost. He really needs to stop beefing with Ghost. It's like, it's crazy how they really don't even get along. I don't get it. Tommy needs to realize Ghost right then and there saved his life without he even realizing it. Now they're back to hating Ghost and Tasha. They need to spend less time hating Ghost and Tasha and really watching their backs. It's too many people out here that could be gunning for them. But let's let's talk about this little girl in Tariq's school. I think it's all going to come around full circle that that is that girl's father. Okay? In my heart, I believe that you guys could comment below. But I be think that that's her father now. I believe it was season two or season three. He got killed. All right? He got killed. I think it was protective custody. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. I didn't write all of that in my damn notes. It's a lot to remember. But... I believe that's why she set Tariq up, okay? Her family could have been grooming her the same way Tariq low-key has been groomed by his parents without his parents even realizing it. I think that's why they got kicked, up, kicked him out of school. And she's going to continue to follow Tariq and she will pop up again. I'm going to tell you all the characters that will pop up again. This little girl is going to pop up again. Benny's going to pop up again. And there's going to, there's something about this lady. She has a little shady history that was only told briefly, but I think she has a couple of ties too. It's a lot of people that are just a little sneaky. But let's talk about it. I love this episode. I love everything about this episode. I was on the edge of my seat. Tommy and Lakeisha need to sit down, have a drink, and relax. Because they're just so overly emotional and so over the top. Okay? Why work against each other when you can work together? My whole thing is, motherfuckers came up with $3 million. Okay? And what, two days? Imagine what it would be like if you actually work together and stop hating on each other. Anyway, I'm eager to see what the last episode holds for us. It's going to be fun. I am so excited and I'm going to review this, do another review on episode 7. Oh my god. I'm so sad that Proctor died. I'm just so sad. I'm I'm just I'm so heartbroken. Benny's gonna get revenge and I wouldn't be surprised in the spinoff if the Proctor's daughter doesn't get revenge. Did y'all think about that? What is the spinoff really gonna tell? I heard something, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but I definitely heard something about it's going to... The, the final episode in this season finale, okay... The spinoff is going to take place 48 hours, supposedly 48 hours 
after the last episode. You guys could correct me if I'm wrong. I put a couple of links in the bio to verify that there's going to be a spinoff. I think the spinoff is definitely going to have the kids in it. I think the spinoff is definitely going to show how Ghost grew up and Tommy. It's going to be a lot of activity of when they were probably younger. It's going to be a lot. Angela's probably going to be back, of course. It's going to be a lot of back and forth. A lot of back and forth until present time and back and, and scenes from back then of how they grew up. They're going to tell a lot of backstory and I cannot wait. I think it's called The Book of Ghosts 2. If I'm not mistaken, you guys can correct me below. Let's communicate. Let's go back and forth. Put that bell on. Subscribe. Like. Share. Do whatever you got. And I just sat here. I didn't even drink my wine or do my makeup. And I look a damn mess. I got to go. Meet me here. Same time. Same YouTube channel. And I will give a review on episode 7. Let's get into it.